and welcome back to The Gathering. I am here, not in my own kitchen, but on my very favorite place on earth, Martha's Vineyard. My very good friends, the Bryants, and I decided to vacation on Martha's Vineyard. Now, I've been coming to Martha's Vineyard every year since 1980, up until oh, a few years back. So I was very excited when we thought we would spend our vacation here. And what better place than to have a gathering of friends and family. And what we're going to do today is prepare for cocktails on the lagoon at sunset. So what we're going to do is prepare for ensalada fruta de mar, which is salad of seafood and we're going to make steak strips on skewers and I'm going to make stuffed clams little necks and also I have smoked bluefish here which I didn't catch or smoke but here it is uh, caught on the vineyard as all the seafood was so um, let's get going what I'm going to do first for my little necks stuff a little next, I am going to uh, put them into hot water. Now here's an easy tip if you don't know how to open them up with a knife. I know for me it's very difficult. So what I do is I take my clams and I put them in a bowl and soak them in hot water. And this kind of lulls the clams into some kind of sleep and they open up. When they open you can pull them out, cut the muscles on both ends and open them. And because we're going to be stuffing these, we will um, take one shell off and leave the clam on one of the shells, one of the sides, and we'll stuff that. Um, so I'm going to do that right now, get these into some hot water. Basically, that's all it is. You're going to let them sit and they'll open. Um, and a little bit about the little necks. You want to use little necks versus cherry stones or even the bigger quahog size because the little necks are very small and tender and won't get tough when you bake them. So there, that's going. Um, smoked bluefish, I think I'm going to wrap and put in the fridge for tonight, put this off to the side, put that back in the fridge. Now, basically, for the ensalada fruta de mar, what you're going to do is poach all of these items into hot water separately. So, I'm going to slice I'm going to slice the calamari. Patty Barber, beautiful knives. They're just wonderful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice the calamari. And you have to be careful because not easy. And aren't these beautiful, these tentacles? They're just great. These I think I'm going to leave whole because that's a neat, uh, neat little addition to the salad. And basically what we're going to do is once we get them all poached, we're going to put them in a bowl. We're going to make an Italian dressing and let them marinate. Now this is one of my favorite all-time ways to have calamari. Another one of my favorite ways is not breaded and fried, but marinated in some kind of Italian dressing and then grilled. And you must keep a quick watch on them because you don't want them to be overcooked on the grill. But they're just wonderful. I'm going to put these back. Put these aside. And I'm 
be right back. Okay, my friend Pat Bryant, here she is. Hello. <laughs> She's going to cook the steaks on the grill, so I will follow her out there. In the meantime, I'm going to get hot water going for the stove to poach these. Okay. Right. Nice. You got the touch. While this is heating up, I'm going to follow Patty outside while she puts these two beautiful uh, sirloin steaks on the grill. Oh, Ed, sorry about this. Uh, the steaks have been marinating in soy sauce and beer. Two parts beer to one part soy sauce. And I believe you saw me do this for the premiere party. We have the same very thing. Uh, it's one of Chelsea's favorite dishes, so I had to have it on the menu tonight. And that's beautiful. And there you have it, two steaks on the grill. Okay, so I'm going to put my seafood in here once it comes out. And that is starting to boil, so that's a good thing. While I'm waiting, let's check on these clams. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you can see from over there, but you see how they open? I just pulled this out of the bowl of hot water and you can see how it's open. So all you got to do is take a knife, clip one muscle on one side, the other muscle on the other, and then it opens right up. And then what you're going to do is scrape the clam into one half of the shell discard that, although, and then there you have your cute little little neck. Although, when I cook these or whenever I eat these raw on the half shell, you see those little muscles in there? A lot of people don't eat them, but I do. I eat pretty much everything when it comes to shellfish. And there you have it. Mmm, tasty little muscles. <laughs> so, in the trash they go. And I will continue on with those, check my water, and I do have to clean my shrimp. So um, we'll be working right away. You don't eat clams that don't open and throw them away. And Patty is going to peel the shrimp. Thank you very much. And I will start poaching because the water is starting to boil somewhat. And what's nice about this salad is you leave the fish in. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's closing. Did you see that? Yeah. He was like, woo. Um, you leave them in the shell so that when you eat them, you have to take them out of the shell. And it's, it's a wonderful thing for the see, second round. They open quite easily. Again, scrape the clam onto one side and discard and this is so easy for me now people also put clams in the freezer to open them um, I've not done it that way and I've been doing it this way for years even when um, when I serve them on the half shell I open them this way because you can always put them back in the fridge to chill them. And you're not really cooking them because it's just hot water. As you can see, it's still quite raw. So Patty, what do you like about
about the vineyard? Oh, the state beach is lovely and the um, water the swimming is outstanding. And um, they can do a lot of shopping. <laughs> That's true. Nice shops for whatever your need may be and great restaurants. Great biking. Great biking. Absolutely. Okay. So the water is slowly starting to boil. As you can see, the steam rise. So I'm going to start with the calamari and I'm just going to dump it in. Now you just want to poach for maybe three minutes, no longer than that. These are beautiful. You see that already? We'll let that cook for a minute. So as you can see, yikes. So as you can see, that didn't take long at all. So I'm going to take these out, and I'm not draining the water. I'm going to use the same water. So you coach everything together, but not at the same time. The scallops should cook for three minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you like to start getting the stuffing ready for the clams? Sure. Okay. What am I doing? Okay. We are going to take garlic and chopped parsley and some breadcrumbs and mix that all together and that will be the topping. They're beautiful. And what you can do with these, and I think I'm going to do this, I'm going to have them, I'm going to cut them in half because they are large. my daughter Chelsea. You may recognize her from other shows. Yes, you can. We love raw seafood. Is there one? So in fact, if you eat one, I'll throw one in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to cut it? Yes. That's all fishy. Okay, so those are the scallops. Now I'm going to put the shrimp in. And see what could be easier than this? Keep the pot going, boil one, <laughs> take it out. As Patty said, I don't know if you heard that. When I asked what could be simpler than this, she said, going out to eat? That would be correct. <laughs> that would be. Okay, so I can have one. Yeah, and it's uh, when it's cooked. Wait for two seconds. So I can't have it now? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Honey, put, put it over here. But these are for the stuffed clams. So. And I'm just going to cut these. Actually, I'm going to quarter them. So you end up with a nice, nice bite-size piece. 
And of course, if they're smaller, just have them. What, sweetie? Did you sh like shuck these on? Yeah, but I didn't rinse them. Well, I just put lemon on it. Okay. Well, can you eat it? Yes, you can. None of it came out. Oh, well, that's how you bring out all lemon. lemon. Bowl. Now check them. The shrimp, the shrimp are beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to put the mussels in. Let those cook away. I am getting the juice of two lemons starting to put together ingredients for the marinade for the fish. And I can't stress enough, when you're making something as fresh as this with the fresh seafood, literally right off the boat here on the island or any, anywhere, you don't want to use bottled lemon juice. You really want to use the fresh lemons. There's just no comparison. And you know, I've been meaning to get myself one of those lemon squeezers, but there's something about just grabbing it in your hand, feeling the food, Feeling the juice drain out of the fruit. It's a wonderful thing. I'm just draining the seeds out of the dish. And what I'm going to do is just put this off to the side. I have two tablespoons of chopped garlic. See how my mussels are doing? Oh, and they're opening right up. Look at this. Beautiful. I mean, this dish couldn't be more simple. Or, um, like Patty said, <laughs> go out to dinner, which is very simple. But um, the house where we're at is a block from the lagoon. So um, in sunset, we have a couple of hours to go. And we're expecting some guests, so um, that would be fun just in time. One tablespoon of fresh parsley, thanks to Patty. And once I get these all I'll run them through the through the water just a little bit to make sure I get the sand off them. And be careful when you're cutting into the muscle because if you don't have a good grip on the clam, you'll cut your hand. And that's not fun, as everybody knows. And here are the shrimp. Thank you, Patty. Welcome. Oh, that child. <laughs> um, let's see about. Now these look beautiful, don't they? Mm -hmm. Done. Mm -hmm. Done. And again, you leave them right in the shell. And don't worry about any that fall out of the shell because when you drain the water, any straggly fish will get thrown in. Okay, now we're going to take our clams. I think we have enough for stuffed clams there. 
Put those in there. Let those go. Okay, so Patty, why don't you come over here? I'll put these over here. Uh, these have to be rinsed. What you now, of course, the clams will take a little longer. Um, we're going to use some Dijon mustard, um, parsley, garlic. So do a cup of this. We'll do a tablespoon. Of, I've got. Um, we'll do a tablespoon of white vinegar. You can mix it all in here. So. For these clams, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yeah. And uh, here, you can put that together. I'm going to put this together. seafood is nicely poached. I'm going to drizzle the dressing on it and then I'm going to give it a good stir. And you can see how beautiful this salad is. And you just mix it all up so that it gets a nice coating. Smells delicious. And isn't that wonderful? So I'm going to put this in the fridge to chill this. And what I'm going to get going here is the mixing that Patty put together on, as you can see, I'm going to put about a half, half a teaspoon on each one. So these will go into a 350 oven for 5 to 10 minutes and then I am going to cube our steak. Be right back. And while those are cooling down I'm going to put my steak strips together. So as you can see Patty did a wonderful job with cooking these sirloins on the grill. Basically, what I'm going to do is take a skewer and just thread it. And there you have it. Perfect beach food. So I'm going to go ahead, finish these, and then We'll put our picnic basket together. Actually, I have two. And then we'll get going. Sunset's almost here.
So here I am putting the last minute touches on our cocktail party for the lagoon at sunset. So I'm taking fresh lemon and just drizzling it over the stuffed little neck so that my guests don't have to bother doing that at the beach so they can just sit down and enjoy themselves. So as you can see I've got my two picnic baskets ready to go. I have my insalata frutti de mar, my smoked bluefish which I did not catch or smoke, beef skewers, and stuffed little necks. So um, I think I'm ready for my guests. So be right back. Your snow. Okay. Well, there you have it. Another episode of the gathering. So um, I have my very good friends here: Patty Bryant, Cindy Bryant, Dave, and Chelsea. So, um, we'll see you at the lagoon, and thanks again for joining us at the gathering. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs>